Hey guys, today on Know Your Gear, we're going to talk about Gretsch guitars to see if you know some fast fun facts about this iconic brand. Some Gretsch guitars are equipped with two three-way switches. The top one, closest to the rim of the guitar or where the strap button is, will always be the toggle switch that controls the pickups. The bottom switch will always be the tone switch or also sometimes called the mud switch. Now what it does is in the center position, it's like having your tone knob all the way forward and not affecting the guitar at all. Down, it's like turning your tone knob halfway back and switching it up is like turning the tone knob all the way back. Why it was called the mud switch, because it makes everything kind of muffly. But this is a cool idea used by Gretsch to give the guitars a unique flair. Unlike most archtop guitar companies that use five plies of maple to create the top, or even a single piece carved out, Gretsch uses three plies of maple. It causes the guitar to reverberate more and feedback more. It's believed that Fender bought Gretsch in 2003, and that's actually not true. What they did was they created what's called a distribution deal. It's, uh, it's like this. Fred Gretsch III still owns Gretsch. He essentially owns the recipes. Like a commercial kitchen, Fender will make the product and distribute it to the stores, or they'll have it commissioned to be made. Now, more importantly, they put Joe Carducci in charge of this, and Joe has been with Fender since it was bought back from CBS. Joe is an amazing guy and has done great things with Gretsch guitars, and anyone who's met him can tell you that he bleeds orange blood. No one loves Gretsch more than Joe. Another amazing trademark of the Gretsch guitars is the overall master volume. See, they'll use two volumes and a tone knob and then give you one master volume to control it all. And why that's unique is that allows you to set your individual volume controls for each pickup and not have to worry about it as a gigging musician standing on the stage. When you're ready to end the song, you can use this master volume just to turn it all off. And when you go back, it's like all your settings have been left alone. A very unique thing over maybe Gibson's two volume, two tone concept. The Gretsch guitar line has so many models that it's impossible to talk just about one. I mean, the 6120 is a very popular one, but of course, keep in mind that, I mean, they have iconic series, not only with Chad Atkins, but with, you know, the Beatles and, and everyone else in between. There's just so much history with Gretsch. And it's had an interesting interesting history, of course. You can look on Wikipedia or anywhere and find out, you know, that, that for a while they were owned by the Gretsch family, then sold to Baldwin, and then uh, Fred Gretsch III and his wife were able to get the company back, and then they ar arranged the deal with Fender in 2003. And really, it's come back to life uh, with Fender being behind it, of course. Um, with that kind of money, power, and size behind it, they can put a lot of distribution uh, behind the guitars and get them around the world and get them in our hands. They're mostly made in Japan now, with only a few models like the White Falcon still being available in the US as a custom shop feature. And they now have, of course, affordable series made in countries like Korea and Indonesia and even China. And they still retain that kind of Gretsch vibe. It's still just an, a really cool uh, product line. As you can see, I own a couple. I've always been a Gretsch guy. It's just something that's always kind of stuck in my head as being very unique. Um, and it has what they always say, it's the great Gretsch sound. That's their marketing tag, and I might sound like a, a fanboy for saying it, but it does have this kind of Gretsch sound. It's a hard thing to capture. As always, guys, thank you for your time, and know your gear.